Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another gadget that I think you're going to find really helpful. It's a 12-port hub from our friends over at Oxum that will greatly increase the number of connections you can make to your computer. Now, in the last couple of years, all the manufacturers out there have been locked in this arms race to design smaller and thinner laptops, which I think is a really good thing because a thinner laptop slides into a bag a whole lot easier, and a lighter laptop is way more portable, which means you're going to bring it with you more places. The challenge is, the thinner the laptops get, the more it limits a company's ability to build ports into that laptop for connecting to external devices. For example, on this laptop, on the one end, I've got two USB-C ports and an audio port, and on the other end, I've got a USB-A port. And that's it. Now, if I'm out in the field, that's not a big deal because if I have to read a memory card, I can use a small adapter. I've got a USB-A port where I can use that for an external hard drive. So I'm okay out in the field. But the challenge is if I'm using it at home as my main computer, which a lot of us are nowadays with all our social media interactions and our Zoom meetings that are going on, there aren't enough connections on the laptop for me to connect everything up I need. So I have to figure out a way to expand those connections. That's exactly what this hub is designed to do. So essentially what you're going to do is connect the hub to your computer through one single cable. It's a USB-C cable. The minute you make that connection, all these ports on the back become active and you've got a ton of ports back here. So I've got, for example, two different video ports, HDMI and VGA. I've got a network port. That's a gig E network. I've got five USB-A connections and another USB-C connection, as well as an SD and a micro SD card reader and an audio port. So it gives me everything I need at home when I'm using this as my main computer that I can sort of leave it on my desk connected to everything. When I come home, I make one connection through the USB-C and I'm ready to go. Now, what I'd like to do with this clip is a brief overview of the unboxing. I just want to show you what comes with the kit and then I'll take a closer look at the hub and explain all the connections to you. And I'll come back at the end with some thoughts on why I picked this hub because I tested a lot of different hubs and I've used a bunch of them over the years and I've given up on the others for a couple of reasons that I think are pretty important. So I'll explain what's different about the Oxum hub from the other ones that I tested. And when you're looking for something like this to expand your ports, keep those things in mind because it'll give you a good idea of what you should be looking for when you're comparing two products against each other. All right, so let's do the unboxing. Again, it's not that exciting. There's not a whole lot inside the box. You'll get the 12-port hub. They actually include a USB-C to USB-C cable, which I think is really nice. So you can use this to connect it up immediately to your laptop and start using it. You'll get a contact information card here that's got a little scanner code in the back. If you want to get in contact with the company with questions or warranty issues, or you just want to post some positive comments, that's a great thing to use. And and then finally, a full instruction manual, which is printed. And I know, I know I go on about this, but so many companies nowadays don't actually print the manual. They'll give you some link somewhere where you've got to go and read a PDF or whatever. I love the fact that they printed out the manual. And that tells me the company cares about the people that are buying it to make it really easy to use the product. So that's the unboxing. Now, if you stay tuned, I'm going to take a closer look at the hub and again, explain all the ports and what they do and what benefits they're going to give you when you connect it up to the computer. And then I'll come back and give you the reasons why I picked this hub in particular over all the other ones that I tested. The first connection you'll want to make to the hub is right here on the end, and it's a standard USB-C port. You can use the included cable that came with the kit to make that connection, but just be aware that the ends are a little bit different. If you look closely, you notice the hood's a little bit larger on this one, and even closer inspection, you'll see that it says the word hub on there. It's important that that connects to the hub and this end connects to your computer. So you simply plug it into the hub, plug this end into your computer, and the minute you make that connection, the hub is now live and all of the ports on the back are activated. And I'll explain what those ports do now. So starting on the left-hand side, you'll find a USB-C port. That can be used to connect external peripherals to the hub into your computer. To the right of that is a power input port. You can use an optional secondary power supply to actually power the hub and charge your computer at the same time. And that power supply can be anywhere between 6 and 20 volts DC. Pretty flexible port. To the right of that are two monitor connections, HDMI and VGA. Both of these are active at the same time, and depending on what monitors you're using and what resolution you're using, the hub is smart enough to figure out the best possible resolution to show on both of those monitors to give you the best possible picture. To the right of that is your network connection. This is a gig E connection, but it will also speed sense down to 10 base T and 100 base T, depending on your network requirements. To the right of that are two full-size USB-A ports. Those are USB 3.0, so they're high-speed ports. To the right of that are three more USB-A ports that are USB 2.0. And again, these are great connections for any external peripherals. To the right of that are your memory card connections, full-size SD card here, and a micro SD card on the bottom. Only one of those can be used at a time, so you can't actually have two cards in there. Whatever card goes in first is the one it's going to read. 
To the right of that is an audio connection. It's a three and a half millimeter standard audio connection. It's bi-directional, so you can connect the speaker up to your laptop that you're connecting to the hub and play music, or you can actually use it for a microphone or a combination of both. So it's a very, very flexible setup on the back end. I hope that was helpful. Now here are a few things to keep in mind if you're in the market for a hub like this to increase your port count, and really the reasons why I like this Auxum hub so much. The first has to do with construction. A lot of the hubs on the market today have plastic enclosures, which doesn't seem like that big a deal, and I'm sure they're doing it to keep the cost down, and it's probably not an issue if you're gonna keep it on your desk at home and it's never gonna leave the house, but if you're taking it out in the field with you, think about that a second. You're gonna throw the hub in your computer bag, a lot of other things in there banging up against it, it's gonna get scratched up, which isn't that big a deal, but if it gets cracked, I'm never gonna trust that hub to connect it up to all the peripherals I wanna to connect to my computer. So having a product like this that's got a full aluminum enclosure means that it's it's durable, it's lightweight, it also helps to reduce outside interference from causing any issues with the video I'm sending to the monitor or my network connections. And if you're into cosmetics, I mean, it matches the laptop perfectly, especially if you're running one of the new MacBooks, it's the exact right color for the Apple products and a lot of the new Windows computers like this one match it as well. So the cosmetics, again, a small point, but if I'm in front of a client, I wanna seem as professional as possible and if I pull this out of my computer bag and hook it up, it matches the computer. So for me, cosmetics is kind of important, but functionality, much more durable, lightweight, weight and it's going to really protect you when you're out in the field from damage to the product. All right, another thing to keep in mind is you'll notice there's no cable connected to this. A lot of the other hubs in the market have a cable that's integrated to the case. And again, that's to help reduce the cost because they can save the secondary connection by wiring it directly into the board inside. This one has a USB-C port in the end of it. Now, the reason that's important is because with my computer, pretend I'm sitting here, this is the back of my computer, the hub goes here, typically it's underneath the computer like that, which is nice because it raises the computer up. The challenge is that cable is way too short to go from here to here. So I've got to have it over here if I'm using that cable. And that's not really where I want it. I want it behind my computer to make all the connections to drop off the back of my desk. So the fact that I've got a USB-C port on here means that I can put a USB-C cable from here to here that's longer. I can use one of my own and actually put it anywhere I want on my desk. So it gives me a lot more flexibility. And again, you wouldn't notice that normally. You'd think, well, that's really nice. They got the cable built into it, but they're usually about that long, which is really a headache. All right, the other thing you want to consider is, of course, the number of ports in the back. Now, 12 ports is pretty good and it gives you everything you need. I've got dual video connections. I've got a network connection five USB-A connections and a USB-C port, as well as audio input and output and SD card reader. So there isn't much that I need on the back of this that I can't connect to with all my peripherals. A lot of them give you fewer ports, but more importantly, they don't put the ports all on one side. So if you look at a lot of the hubs, they've got the SD card reader on one side, a couple of USB-As over here, maybe a USB-A on that side. And that's a bit of a headache because if you're trying to keep your desk somewhat organized, typically all your peripherals are behind you. You want the cables to come out the back and not be all over your desk, sort of wrapped around. So I love the fact that it, it has all the ports facing out the back end of it. Another key feature is that it offers both uh, VGA and HDMI output for your monitors, which is kind of nice because if you're using an older monitor, you can connect it up here, 1080p is pretty good resolution. If you want to do 4K, you come in through the HDMI. The cool thing is both of those ports are active at the same time. So I can actually run two external monitors at the same time and I have a choice of either mirroring my laptop uh, screen to both of those monitors or to expand my desktop between those monitors to move icons around. So it gives me really a three screen setup when I'm home to park some of those icons on those other two screens, which is really nice. A lot of them don't do that. It's one or the other, or it's only HDMI, which kind of limits your, your access out the back. Another key feature is that a lot of these hubs are operating system specific, meaning it's a hub for Mac, or it's a hub for uh, Windows. And that doesn't seem like that big a deal, again, if it's just you buying a hub for your computer, but I've got a lot of kids at home, I've got my wife, we're all connecting different computers, and I wanna have a hub that I can use for all those computers, so if my son's in a pinch and he needs to use the hub, he can plug it into his computer and run with it. He's a Windows computer, my, my wife and my daughter are both Apple computers, it works on both. Another key feature is that the hub connecting to your computer doesn't happen organically. What I mean by that is when you connect the hub at your computer, it doesn't just magically enable all those ports. The computer has to understand what the hub's doing with that USB-C connection. So what's cool about the Auxum hub is they actually build the software you need, the drivers you need, right into the hub. So the first time you connect it up to your computer, a window will pop up and say, would you like to install these operating system modifications to your drivers to enable a hub? You click yes, it installs it, and you're off and running. And they include software on here for both the Apple products and the Windows products. So it makes it's super simple to install it. A lot of the other hubs I test it, you had to go to their website. I tried to download the software. Maybe I got it working, but it took me an awful long time. This one, a couple of clicks and you're done and it's working. So that's another real benefit to it. The last thing I'll tell you is that 
if you're using a lot of USB-C connections externally, you've got five USB-A connections on the back here. So we offer, and I've got a link below to them, we offer converters, they're actually port converters, that'll turn a USB-A into a female USB-C. So if you need additional USB-C ports, you can use those port adapters to make that conversion. Conversely, if you need one more USB-A port, either on your computer or on this, or, or even several, we have a converter that'll change the USB-C female to a USB-A female. So it'll actually change the gender, or I should say change the flavor of that USB, depending on what you need. So if you're, if you're looking at this going, man, I could use a couple more USB-C ports, you can use one of those converters to convert it to a USB-C. Now, that's not a fully functional USB-C. It'll charge, it'll move audio, it'll move video, but there's some limitations on it, but at least it gives you another way to expand it. So all those things being equal, I like this hub an awful lot, and I've tested a bunch of hubs, and I've actually used hubs in the field for a lot of different years on a lot of my computers, but this one for me just fits the bill. It's clean, it's really well designed. I love the aluminum uh, casing on it. I also love the fact that it raises my computer up evenly because a lot of those smaller hubs are kind of small and blocky and I was always like moving around on it. This one, it sits right underneath the back of it. It gives me additional cooling for my laptop, which is kind of nice. And all the cables, this is super important to me, all the cables come out the back and fall off the back of my table. So for me, this is like the perfect move. Now, Oxum is not the cheapest hub on the market. When you look at the price, you're going to go, wow, that's a little more expensive than I expected. But they have a special on right now where there's a huge reduction on it. So if you use the link below, Go to Amazon, take a look at it. I think they're knocking 30 or 32% off it right now. So if you need this, this is an easy product to use. And again, during these times where we're all home, working from home, or we're on Skype calls with friends and family and stuff, having an expander like this that allows you to connect up an external camera, a microphone, an extra hard drive, whatever you need to connect, network connections so you get high-speed connections to your laptop, it's just a real bonus to have that. And I think it's a necessary uh, peripheral for anybody working with laptops at home. So that's all I really had for today. I like it an awful lot. If you've got any questions about it, drop them in the comment below and I'll, I'll talk to you as quickly as I can and get the answers you need. But in the meantime, there are links below to the port converters I talked about and to this on Amazon if you want to go check it out. But I love doing these kind of clips. So hopefully you guys are finding value in this. I've got a lot more stuff I'm going to be talking about on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down there and join this Drone Valley family because we got a lot of cool stuff coming up you're definitely going to want to tune in for so thanks an awful lot for watching and until next time stay nerdy mm -hmm.